Hi, this is Jay from Hot Watches Review, and this is the moment you've all been waiting for. That's right, G-Shock Knockoff Challenge. So why do we choose the G-Shock? The G-Shock, known for durability, longevity, being able to, ex to survive extreme temperatures. So, we decided to test the knockoffs. The first contestant, OTS, a, uh, a white poly cased, or plastic cased, white poly band G-Shock knockoff. It says it is a water resistant up to 50 meters. Uh, feels quite nice. And, uh, this is contender number one. Contender number two, G. Anners. It has a digital portion and an analog portion, two subdials which are for a, a fashion only. Um, again, plastic case, poly band, uh, water resistant up to 30 meters. Contender number three, G Shores. This one is a black plastic case with a black poly band. This is probably the most authentic G-Shock looking watch we have. It has a digital portion and an analog portion. Uh, one subdial in the middle, which is a, a display only or a, a fake subdial. The first challenge was the freezer challenge. Now what we did is we took all the knockoffs and put them in the freezer, a couple of hours, down to they hit their core temperature, and then brought them out to see if they worked. Let's find out what happened. The next test we did was the drop test. Now, on the G-Shocks, they did the test of dropping it from three or four stories beside an apple. The apple exploded, the G-Shock didn't. They also did the hammer test, where repetitively they dropped a 20 pound or 10 pound hammer on it for quite some time, it still worked. Now, what we did is we just went to a very, very tall parkade and dropped the watches right off. Here we are at top of a parkade. I think we're about six, or level seven. We're testing the, the shock proof, I guess, of these knockoff watches. What we're doing is we're dropping them off and seeing if they'll survive. In the, in the Casio G-Shock, they drop them from, a, I guess, a three-story drop in. And of course, they've done the hammer test, dropping them out of the with like a 10, 20 pound hammer right on it. So dropping it from seven stories off a parkade, I think that should do. Uh, think of it like a James Bond theme. You're up here, you're fighting around, and it's, it's, you're, you're battling the bad guy. You come over the edge, and then your watch goes over the edge, and there it goes, right at the bottom. Let's go take a look and see what happened to these watches. The OTS. Still works. The G Anners, well the digital part works, and it looks like there's an arm missing, or fell off. The G Shores is sadly dead.
So the next test was the pressure washer test. We put these, wash these watches into the car wash and brought out the 3000 PSI pressure washer used to wash your cars and sprayed them for a period of time. And let's see what survived. The G Shores, surprisingly, has a failed drop test. It survived the pressure washer test. The G Anners failed the pressure washer test. There is obvious signs of water droplets inside, and thus it will cease to work. OTS, completely bone dry, not a drop inside. Big win in my books. So the very last test we decided to do is the end-all be-all of the tests that would put these watches to their demise. The washing machine test. So we put all of them into a tumbled style washing machine, puts a couple of items of, of clothing or pardon me, a towel and some, uh, some rags to simulate a jacket as if you'd put your watch in a jacket then threw it right into the wash. And let's watch what happens. As the battle raged on inside that washing machine, tumbling over and over and over again, sadly, all the watches have come and met their demise. Back on the operating table, the G Anners could not be saved. The G Shores, obviously, was long dead before it made it there. The OTS was on life support, it showed very, very small signs of life. Quick, simple change of the battery, a wipe down of the water. And amazingly, it comes back to life. So, in retrospect, out of all the G-Shock knockoffs, the best one clearly is the OTS, and only because it does not have an analog portion. The digital, however, did suffer some problems through the tumble washing machine. It did come back to life. For the other two, I'd say, sadly, they do not compare to even anything. <laughs> They're junk.